Hi everybody. Uh, today I have a quick little video for you. I've been asked uh, to clarify a couple things about the the last project uh, or the last lab, which was lab six, uh, that I, I've been marking. And there seems to be a lot of people really, um, really struggling with that lab. And there's a couple things. The first one is make sure that you actually do read the instructions. A lot of people just didn't didn't do what they were supposed to and so they got very poor marks and so uh, the Dropbox isn't actually closed until till Wednesday so uh, if you have the time and you get this this message you know maybe uh, take a look at it and see if it's worthwhile resubmitting uh, in time to 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 get a late penalty but uh, you know 15 out of 20 is better than better than uh, in some cases, five or six out of 20. And uh, now uh, I do need to get midterm grades in, uh, and I plan on doing that likely Monday. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, submit them. Uh, so uh, anything that's that's late isn't going to make it into into this uh, into this cycle, uh, but it will get updated for your final marks. All right. So. Uh, to the lab, so lab six, uh, a couple of things that I saw. One, uh, people do, weren't actually using a metric drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deviate a little bit from the instructions and show you guys an easier way to, to create a drawing in metric. And so I'm going to go in here to templates and I'm going to pick a AutoCAD ISO uh, drawing. Okay, so let's, uh, I'll just pick this guy. And you'll notice that uh, it everything is in metric. Uh, the other thing is a few people, uh, for some reason, they drew everything in 2D. Uh, the objective of this lab was to actually draw in 3D. So make sure that, uh, first of all, your workspace is turned on so that you have this menu and you can pick your 3D basics. And so I'll just, uh, I'll just rotate around here. Uh, we were uh, first to draw the PCB, uh, and that seemed to be fairly straightforward. Everybody managed to to do that, uh, but a lot of people were struggling with the with the uh, the bracket. And so I'm going I'm going to I'm going to draw a representation of that bracket right now, uh, just by making a couple rectangles, uh, and this was uh, 25 millimeters by. Uh, 25 millimeters and so it looked kind of like that on the one side and the other corner uh, we were if I recall five millimeter thick uh, so I'll draw another another rectangle uh, and this time from this corner and I will go negative 20 by negative 20 oh I sorry can't do absolute numbers can I let's go from here uh, and in this case, the other corner is going to be in 5-5. Five, five. No, shoot. All right, let's try that one more time. Because it... Draw that rectangle from this corner. And so negative 20, comma, negative 20. Negative, oh, shoot. We'll try this one more time. Rectangle from here negative 20 comma negative 20 there we go that's better sorry about that uh okay so the next thing was uh we're going to uh extrude this and i'm going to grab both of these and extrude them uh some height and i don't remember exactly uh so we're 60 millimeters 60 millimeters is good. 60 millimeters. Okay, so what we have here is uh, two two boxes, an inner box, an outer box, and I'm going to simply subtract them by taking the large one, pressing enter, and then removing the inside one. And that's and that's good enough uh, for our representation today. Um, one thing that I do see a lot of people um, making mistakes on is uh, that 
they got their diameters and their radii mixed up. Okay, so make sure that when you are getting a dimension, if it's in if it's if it's given as a radius, you want a radius. If it's given as a diameter, it's it's going to be it's going to be uh, half half the 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 value if you're plugging in radius. That's confusing the way I said that, but um, so uh, two millimeter radius r would be a four millimeter hole like diameter. Okay, all right. So here we are. We've got our uh, our part. You can see that was actually fairly easy to make. I didn't take the time to put this hole in the right place, but it doesn't matter. Uh, now the instructions were to basically go into your layout, and uh, we can get rid of our. Uh, our, our viewport for now and the idea is that you're going to go into layout. I know it looks like you're in layout already but you're not. Okay so click on layout and now you'll see it says base here so we're going to click on base and say from model space and it will bring in my part and I can choose uh, what I'm going to look at. So let's let's say I want to start by looking at the uh, front. Nope, don't like the front. Let's try the top. Perfect. I like the top. Okay. Uh, so I've placed it. I'll press enter and then I can pick the other two views and an isometric view. And uh, we can always go back and modify our, our, uh, our views. Okay. In this case, we're two to one. We didn't want two to one, we wanted one to one, so I'll change that over real quick, and you'll notice that everything is scaled down. Uh, the next thing is that we wanted to change our, our dimensions uh, to have dual dimensions, and so I'm going to go over here to annotate, uh, and drafting an annotation, and we'll select annotate. I'll do the little pull down menu, so that we can go and create a uh, new style okay and I'll make it a copy of this and I will call it uh, dual dimensions continue and here we go okay so we now have our primary units and we need to set turn on our alternate units and notice that it is 0.039 something or other uh, that means that the primary will be in metric and the, uh, the, the secondary will be an imperial, so inches. And I'll say OK and close. OK. Uh, right, so we're, we are set to, to dual. Everything should be good. I'm going to throw in a couple linear dimensions just to show you that super quick. OK, so 60 millimeters, uh, 2.36 uh, inches. All right. Uh, now, I did see quite a few people struggle with how to put in a diameter. So this little pull down, and you can pick the different uh, sizes. So in this case, you can see that I have 6.16 uh, 6 millimeter diameter. Uh, and just to drive the point home, uh, I can also pick a radius and note that it is half. Okay. Uh, the... Other thing that people were having some trouble with was with their viewports. Okay, so I'm going to uh, delete this viewport so that we can create a new one. So again, I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to go to insert view and I want a uh, rectangular and I will pick uh, two, two rectangles here like so. We'll call this good enough. And once we're in here, we can actually set up our views. Okay, so in this case, perhaps I want a top view. And in this case, I want a um, front view. Okay, and the idea here is that they are going to actually line up. And this is close enough for me. I don't, don't really care. Uh, but one thing that you do need to make sure, especially when you're using viewports, is that you do set uh, your your layout to uh, paper space so that when you put in any dimensions okay so here we'll annotate I'll throw in a couple of quick dimensions so there are five millimeters and uh, we'll put another 
another dimension here. Okay, and there's our 25. Some people were also asking about the snaps. Okay, uh, you can't can't actually snap to the end. Down here is your object snap. It's F3. Uh, if it's not turned on, you won't be able to uh, snap to the ends. Uh, so it's important that you turn that on. And if you're wanting to snap to a specific point, you can click the little down arrow or uh, shift and right click, and you can pick something very specific. For example, the middle of the line. Okay, so here we are. I'll draw a line and we'll pick the middle. All right, and turn on my ortho, which is F8. And there we go. So I drew a line in the middle. Note that when we go back to a model space, those dimensions, they're not there, right? And that's the great thing about uh, using paper space to do your layouts and uh, and, and dimensioning and all of your borders, your text, your your bill of materials, your your title block. It doesn't clutter up your actual model space. All right. I hope this helps and uh, do keep the questions coming. I'm more than willing to uh, to shovel up more more uh, more videos to the to the uh, YouTube channel. And if it's uh, you know, quick, dirty ones like this without a whole lot of post-processing. It doesn't take me much time at all. Okay, thanks, and uh, hope again, hope this helps, and you have a great day. All right, enjoy your reading week. Bye now.